Is your dick fucked up? Does your life suck shit? Is your wife about to leave you cause you're annoying? Sounds like you've got a lot of fucking problems. Don't you sweat cause Stavi's gonna solve them. He's pretty fucking dumb but he can figure out your problems. Here is an example, you should always use a condom. Yeah, I just, I guess, I guess I think, I guess maybe you don't always have to is my point. Like maybe there's some situations where you don't have to use a condom, you know? But, um, you know, you know what, let's just go ahead and, why don't we just finish the song? How about that? Show's about to start, it's called Stavi Solves Your Problem. Ooh, de ooh, god damn. What a fucking banger. Shouts out to Tup and Pete. They have a podcast. I think it's called Famous for this podcast. Check them out. They're very funny. Good bros. Anyway, without further a motherfucking do, why the hell don't we get started, Ralph? You hit me with the first one. All right, we got some pretty, we got some bangers of repeat callers this week, so I'm just going <laughs> to roll it. them all. Roll it up. Roll it up, daddy. Uh, this first one is from the... Uh, closeted trans woman whose parents found yes. her dress and thought she snuck to have sex. Yes. Hey, Stav. Um, it's the closeted trans woman from last week. Uh, so oh, I'm just calling to let you know that um, I'm off the hook. Uh, my friend Nicole came in clutch. Uh, she house sat for us last summer. Um, and so she texted my parents and said it was her skirt that had gotten under the bed somehow. Um, so he, I have another question for you. Um, yeah. I've, you know, took the heat for about a week. They, and they feel bad now. Um, they thought I broke quarantine to get pussy. Right. Um, so, you know, I just started HRT. I've only got so long till my dick stops working. Mm. Do I break quarantine to get pussy? <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts on yes. this. Yes. Uh, yes. It really yes. wasn't that bad. They were pretty angry at me for a couple of days, but now I feel like uh, <laughs> they feel so bad that they, you know, um, aren't going to say anything. So let me know what you think. Uh, mm. Thanks, Dav. Uh, Bye-bye. Hell yes. Are you kidding me? Take that motherfucker out for a spin for for old time's sake. <laughs> Go get you some fucking pussy, man. You deserve it. Before them titties start coming in. While that dick is hard as hell, yes. I'll be pissed if you don't. Now, okay, look. I think you need to. I would, I would if I were you. <sighs> Having said that, and you have banked some... Can you can you lie some way so they don't think? Can you just get out of the house? Say you're gonna go do something safe, go for a walk, go for a run, whatever. Go hiking with Nicole, some safe activity so they're off your case, and then go get pussy. If you can provide cover, which I think you can, because the whole point of this was they thought they caught you getting pussy. So if you can get some fucking pussy before that HRT kicks in for old times' sake. I think you got to. You just got to think of a better excuse this time. I love this. Yes, go get, go get, go get some fucking pussadichlian. You deserve it for living through that harrowing experience. The vibes are so much different on this call. So much more positive. So much more upbeat. You were worried as fuck. For the stress alone, you deserve some pussy. I'm rooting for you. Call back in. Let, let us know how it went. Um, give me the next one. Give me the next one, Ralph. All right, this next one is from the guy whose girlfriend did not like your calendar and didn't want him to hang it up. That's right. Hey, Stavros, this is Cameron. Um, thank you for the advice. You're totally right. I was able to put up the calendar. I just had to stand up for myself a little bit. And things have been going great. I really like our new place and everything. But the only issue I'm having now is, I don't know exactly why, but whenever, since I put that calendar up in our bedroom, uh, my girlfriend's been having issues coming. <laughs> no. So hang up on him. Hang up on him that. right now. Oh. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you, man? You think you're gonna get that riff off on my show? 
You think you're gonna get that fucking? You gonna? You think you're gonna get away with that scot free? As if your girl wasn't squirting all over your little chin while you were eating her pussy. She was looking at my fucking titties gleaming in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in the fucking piss cage. <laughs> uh, how fucking dare he? R.I.P. How you motherfucker? Trouble coming. Maybe you're busting too fast. Maybe you want to fuck me, pal. Well, you never will, because of the disrespect. Not that you would have anyway, but. Now you're definitely off my list. <clears throat> Thank you, Joshua Kent. All right, next one, Ralphie. All right, this one is from the gay guy who wanted to get pegged. Yes, this guy rocked as well. Hey, Savvy, it's, uh, you told me to call back. It's Tyler, the gay guy who wanted to try getting pegged by a girl. So I yeah. took your advice and I made a Tinder. And yeah, I got a lot of matches, kind of a shocking amount, actually. I'm supposed to uh, meet up with one this weekend. She's pretty hot. She's a stripper, former stripper, um, or at least before coronavirus. Um, right. So yeah, she said she always wanted to peg a guy, but she's never been able to find one who would be down for it. She thinks it's hotter that I've only been with guys. Oh. And she also wants me to try fucking her. Wow. But... I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I've never really been face-to-face -face with a vagina. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think I'm going to try. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe we'll find out that I'm by. And, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, thanks for the show and all the money you're raising. <laughs> I love this fucking guy. He's, in my, he's another one of my sons, my gay son. We got Scooter. We got Gabe. <clears throat> and now we got my gay peg son. This fucking rocks. Damn. Shit. How hot are you? You probably only had pictures. Do you have... What kind of pictures do you have? Ah. I want to talk to this man live. Because now I'm thinking, is this a good scam for me to pull? <laughs> Pretend I'm a gay guy that's never fucked? <laughs> but like, damn, I really... I've only fucked guys, but I really want a woman to peg me. And uh, I would really love to try a pussy. And now I'll, I'll be all performed like, mm -hmm. well, I'll try fucking it, I guess. Just bust immediately. <laughs> Hell yes, dude. Big respect for you. And let this man be a fucking, let this man be a fucking example for everybody afraid to try out their fucking dreams. A gay man wanted, had a sort of a strange request. Wanted to be pegged by a woman for some reason. He wanted to feel some titties on his back for a change. While he's getting absolutely, he's getting that hole absolutely turned out. And now he's going to try some pussy. Why not? Remember the time we had some strange... Remember like cultural day at school where somebody brought in Indian food and you were like, I don't know if I like this. And then you had it you're like, wow. This is pretty, samosas are fucking tight. Now you eat samosas all the time. Or maybe you're like, you know what? Not for me, but I enjoyed the experience. Respect. I'm so happy for you. And please call back and let us know how it goes. And um, then tell her. And if she's in the New York area, tell her you have a friend. Whose dream. Same gay guy. He His fetish. He likes guys with really little dicks, though. To find this, I'm going to get the smallest strap on in the world. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and fuck this stripper. Um... <laughs> Mwah. So happy for you, my son. Next question. Uh, this next one is... So this guy's called in a few times. He got a date, and then they broke it off, and then he got COVID. I believe this is one of your sons. I was trying to trace back the full storyline, and it went over multiple days, but he's calling back again. Let's hear it. You know what up, Stop. This is Gabe from Tennessee. Gabe. Just wanted to apologize for my sweet time. I guess I went a little too long. I was one of these people that was cut. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm sorry, Gabe. Sweet. So sorry for that. Uh, I'm doing better. 
test negative for the COVID. Just a little update right there. Respect. Uh, which is good. Got that girl from mine. Just wanted to thank you for uh, encouraging words and that funny story. And uh, there's this coworker, this other coworker that I yes. really like. And we're friends. Just wanted to get your opinion. Should I uh, just keep us friends because we're really good friends? I don't want to screw it up. Or should I just kind of go uh, full bore, as you say, and uh, ask her out and, you know, try to get that little dick sucked? So, thanks. <laughs> Gabe. Thanks, Al. Catch you on the flip. <clears throat> okay. Yes, Gabe did take a couple L's, if, you'll, if everyone will recall. Um, the I would say I'm going to tell you to go for what you want. If you like this girl and your friends, you probably have found yourself constantly being friends with girls because you don't pull the trigger fast enough in letting them know what your um, what your desires are, right? What your intentions are in the relationship. So, now, here's one problem you have. You don't want to be the guy, you don't want to be fucking Gabe who's trying to fuck everyone in the office, right? That's one problem. So, don't call back next week and be like, all right, she said no, but there's this other girl that I really like, this other coworker, right? You gotta fucking, you gotta pick. I think you can ask out a couple, that's fine. But, um, after that, you might want to chill with the co-worker situation. But in general, in your life going forward, if you like a girl, you're gonna want to ask her out quick. You know what I mean? Or at least let her know you're interested quickly. Because otherwise, my guess is, Gabe, my, my beautiful boy, you are, you get stuck in a pattern where you are too... Uh, shy or nervous or whatever to make a move, you start a friendship. But in reality, you were trying to you've been trying to fuck her the whole time. I am only saying this because that's how I was in my youth, uh, and letting letting people know how I feel has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. So don't I don't want you to stay in this pattern. Ask this girl out, but and and in the future, keep ask ask a girl out immediately if you or not immediately, but you know what I mean. Approach her in that context, in the context of a man courting a woman, not somebody who's just like, yeah, I'm just another one of the gals, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because that's probably crushing your little soul. So yes, do it. And then also, though, you can't you can't try and fuck everyone in your office, okay, pal? Even in the spirit of self-improvement and setting yourself free of your former shyness. Um, but that's my that's my advice to you. You got the green light on this one. Unless you want to save it for a different coworker, you're trying to fuck more. But and in and in the rest of your life, you gotta stop finding yourself friends with people that you want to fuck. Be friends with people you want to be friends with, of course. I'm not saying don't be friends with women, but I'm just saying if there's somebody that you are attracted to first and foremost, try that. You know what I mean? Um, but all, and also feel free to be friends with somebody you ask out and they're not into it. Of course, obviously, if you, if you think you can handle that and not be resentful, um, but. Sounds like to me you kind of keep that shit inside. No more keeping it inside, baby boy. <clears throat> All right. Hit me with uh, hit me with another one, Ralphie. All right. This is the guy calling back. He called in last week perplexed because after a few days of talking to a girl on Tinder, she still hadn't given him his number. Right. Or her number, rather. Didn't he call with Sydney? Yeah, with Sydney, right? I remember this. Yeah. Hey, stop. It's Zach from upstate New York again. Um, I just watched the stream uh, after being completely roasted. And, you know, it, it, it's funny because the day after I made this call, um, I got her number and <laughs> we, we've been talking and we are going to be hanging out. So I think that, um, you know, the, with the information I had, I was going off on rather, um, you know, I, I would I would have agreed with you guys, <laughs> but uh, it looks like we will be going out, which is really nice. Yeah, I like to hear that. Um, also, you you motherfucker, it wasn't it wasn't just me sending paragraphs and her sending <laughs> one or two you never know, responses. Zach. It was it was a full engaging all conversation, right. <laughs> at, like every time. Um, all right, I love you. I all love right. you, stop. I love you, Chad. Okay, bye bye. Okay, call. Us, let us know. Let us know if you fuck. <clears throat> Let us know if you're going to fuck. Um, 
Okay, sounds like the lies I tell my therapist. <laughs> that would be so funny if he was lying. He's like, oh, I actually fucked her uh, eight times. Oh, the part, the second part of my voicemail got cut off. Uh, me and her fucked, but actually, before I had her, before I even matched with her, I didn't even know it. She was a girl. I forgot what she looked like. That's why she was kind of doing it as a joke. She was kind of not responding as a joke because I had already blown her pussy out. Uh, but I forgot who she was because they all blend together because I get a lot of pussy. So anyway, just wanted to clarify that stuff and uh, love the show. And uh, I don't know Ralph's name. I'm going to call him Chad. So uh, we <laughs> talk, to you, talk to you next week. <laughs> But that's good. I'm glad that that's what happened. And call back and let us know how it goes. Um, <laughs> here's with the next one, Ralph. All right, this is the last repeat caller for the week. Uh, they explain their previous call better than I could. Let's do it. Hey, Stubbs, the return caller. I called last week about my... That retarded gamer friend Peter Keeley. Yes, um, my boy. The, the plot thickens with the feel good twist of the summer. He's uh, found love. Oh, yes. Um, one of these little cute little art ho girls. She's <laughs> real nice. And uh, they just sit around and uh, get takeout and quote Sam High videos at each other all day. It's uh, really heartening. <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah, you can always find love. And a little bit about me, you know, following your advice. I, I've been cutting back on smoking, but I'm back on the darts the whole time, chuffing. And uh, I've gained 15 pounds, so mm. things are things are looking up for me as well. So <laughs> thanks for the advice. Yeah, you're just going to get fat as fuck. <laughs> I love that fat guy, his fat friend. Yeah, I think I actually love her. She sucks my fucking dick. I got to talk about. She, yeah, I ate her pussy and then I take a break and I ate cheesy fiesta potatoes. That's pretty fucking cool. I'll probably go marry her. Yeah, she's pretty fucking tight. She says the M word all the time. She calls me the M word when I bust fast. So yeah, that's the kind of girl I'm looking for. <laughs> Shouts out Shouts out to his fat His fat gamer friend Who found love And you know what buddy You're gonna find love too <clears throat> Um Alright Hit me with the Hit me with the next one Let's Suck on my dick Hey Stavi This is Gabe in LA I know this is a pretty low stakes problem But uh, I could use your help solving it. Uh, we got the fireworks going off already, I guess. Um, I was listening to an episode of Come Town where you were talking about liking drafting in the Dynasty or the franchise mode yes. of Madden, and I've been trying to get a Dynasty League together with my boys for years now. We love doing redraft, but no one wants to commit to the Dynasty element, you know, mm. which is, I feel like, kind of what you were talking about being fun in Madden. Yes. Uh, not getting pussy in high school. So right. while we're not getting pussy in quarantine, I feel like it could be fun. So if you could let me know how to rally the troops, that would be great. Thanks. Uh, geez. How do you get your friends to want to hang out with you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the heck. Um, somebody say the stream is off. Is the stream on, Ralph? Stream's working. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's working fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, dude, I don't know. Have a better personality. <laughs> um, is it mm, is it prejudice of me to say that I thought this was a? And you know, maybe it is a gay man. And if it is, that's cool. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm I'm out here being homophobic and I apologize, Gabe. Um
the problem is with the dynasty i see what they're getting at though bro because with the dynasty it's like a lot of it is getting to fucking sim through whenever you want you know looking up players you know you got to do the fucking you do all the homework you do all this shit you know you're lo you're looking up who you're going to draft it's hard it's not like just games where you can just all you know the off season you're all, what you're all going to sit there at the off season at the same time i think it would be fun to do one season but you know the shit's going to fall apart after quarantine <sighs> so i don't know buck buckaroo <laughs> You might ha you might have to offer them some something, you know, pay them to hang out with you. <laughs> do a fantasy draft, set it up as a dynasty, and see how it goes. Do the just the tip approach. You just be like, look, guys, we all like to do one season. Why don't we just why don't I sneak part of my penis in here? We don't have to do the whole thing, and then when they like it, maybe you put the rest of the tip in. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so that I would say do the just the tip situation. Do the just the tip situation. Um all right. Let's get another one going, Ralph. All right, this one's a two-parter. Hey, Savi. Uh I fucking I really fucked up my kneecap. I don't know what I did. But it keeps like sliding around my knee. It's not like where it, it's not where it should be. You know, my kneecap is loose, and I'm thinking I gotta bite the bullet and like see a doctor. But yeah. I don't know. Do you have any like athletic tips? You know, you seem like a <laughs> uh, you know like an athletic guy. Like, what should I do? Do I tape it? Do I ice it in the meantime? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. Rest in peace for the uh, for the subreddit. <laughs> What up, Stav? I called you really fucked up the other day after I fucking dislocated my kneecap. My my kneecap popped off. I went to the doctor today. I was screwed. I got to be in bed for like six weeks. Not really. Not until that bad. But I'm going to be in bed a lot. So what uh, What are some good recipes I can make sitting down? What are some good movies to watch, you fat bastard? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Actually, no. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> Damn. This, this, this man, there's a lot of ups and downs with this guy. Um, at least you didn't commit to calling me a fat bastard. Um, it was rude. It was rude, but he didn't believe in himself, and he feels like he has to, that's the only way he can communicate. Um, and I hope you understand that that's not true. Kindness always wins. Um, I would say, yeah, run through The Sopranos. I've been, I've been, I just got Criterion. I'm watching all the Lone Wolf and Cub movies. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my third week watch The Sopranos. Watch The Wire if you haven't. Now's the time to really make up for what you've lost. If you if you haven't seen like a fucking, you know, classic old movie or old fucking, you know, TV show or whatever. Um, but... You know, I'll work on your communication skills. You know? Look into your heart. Do you have to insult? To be loved? Who taught you that behavior? Do you need to confront them? And be free? That's that's the kind of stuff... That's the kind of stuff you might learn on The Sopranos. Which, I usually fast forward the mob stuff and I go right into the therapy stuff. <laughs> what about a guy that just watches it for the therapy? <laughs> Uh, that would be a funny type of guy. All right, here's our fucking little slut, Hassan. Let's invite. Let's say hello to him. Yo, what's up? What's okay, up, dog? This is sick. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna. <laughs> I've never. You know, this is the first time I've ever used Zoom. Like oh, I've never. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's it's a nice little nice little program. All what right, do you usually dude, stream on? What? You ever have motherfuckers on your shit? Yeah, but I use Discord. I just had uh, I just had Matt and and the True Anon people oh, yesterday. Nice. Hell yeah! Hold on, I gotta I gotta really quickly add on my screen because mine is just a black screen currently. Yeah, Hold dude. on. Take your time. Take your time. Everyone, tell Hassan how cute he looks in the fucking chat. Everyone, say hello to my friend Hassan. Tell him he looks cute. 
Let's hear it. After. Thank you. They're saying you look cute, man. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> you're the you're the real cutie, dude. Oh, you're the real come cutie, on, brother. stop it, stop it. A little some, little something for everybody on this stream. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We got a little something for everybody. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put myself like maybe right here. There it is. Nice. Like right. Yeah, you got here. it. You're a little stream god, dude. Okay, just... there it is. I I, I just it's hard. It, it's uh I'm so tech illiterate. It's very yeah. difficult yeah. for me to do this stuff uh, correctly. But you know, I still I still truck on. All right, there it is. <laughs> yeah. There you go, yeah. folks. That's Stavros Halkius, aka Savi Baby. That's uh, right. He is from. He, he is uh, the famous uh, one third of a <laughs> podcast that I I uh, don't really know about. What is it called? You don't have to say what it is. It's fine. Well, what's it called? I, I'm unfamiliar. It's called Come Town. Oh, it's called Come Town. It's okay. called Come Town. Heard of it personally? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I, I never listen. So yeah, I, I've I never. Li yeah, I've never. I always do it by accident. I always show up by accident, and the mic is always yeah. recording. Um, this is a this is a this is a, this is a beautiful time right now, guys. We got we got a dual stream when two savages, when two hard dick savages meet. This is this is what we, this is what we get. <laughs> Damn, I can't wait to fucking. I can't wait to just uh, the, the people in your chat that have no idea what's about to happen. Um, I don't but... even fully know what's about to happen. I know you get, like I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Nah, baby, we're just listen. We're just this is a, it's called Stavi solves your problems. So everyone, everyone watching over at Hassan's stream, welcome. This is a show that promotes body positivity. Uh, that promotes that we solve everyone's issues, you know. And I have a very unique perspective. Just to introduce myself to you, I am a I'm a fat bald man without teeth. And I kind of bring that vibe to the self-help zone. Uh, and so for my personal stream, that's why I have my boy Hassan on. First of all, I think it's very culturally, it's very important that the, the world sees us unite like this, you know? Oh, yeah. To, to end a centuries long feud between Turks and Greeks. I think that's, oh, yeah. I think that's number one. Absolutely. <laughs> so I wonder, do, do, what do Turkish people think about Greek people? Because we... Growing up, it was all everyone was anti-Turk. Things have, oh, of course, yeah, it, things have course. slowed down a little bit, but it, there is always an ongoing. Uh, there's always an ongoing uh, conflict. Like they're always, they'll say stuff like, "Oh, dude, you know, you know, they need to They'll say like, uh, "You know, we we put the Greeks in the water, like we, we dumped <laughs> them in the water." It's funny Damn, because I am uh, my my grandparents from my father's side are from Selanik and Crete. So oh, shit. Both mainland and also uh, the islands, yeah. So, oh. You got a little yeah. Greek blood in you, huh? Yeah, they, they when the immigration swap happened uh, after World War One, they moved to, or during World War One, they moved to uh, Turkey. They, they immigrated to Turkey. Oh, fuck. Interesting. To Istanbul. So we got, we got, maybe we're fucking cousins, dude. Maybe we're yeah. long, long cousins. Long lost that's cousins. Why we look, that's why we look kind of similar the bone structure is um, the same everyone yeah. says that to me everyone's like i can't tell you how many times they were like oh i was accidentally supposed to go on hassan's stream but i'm here because i was only looking at the face <laughs> um, but thanks man thank you for being here my show is basically we're listening it's an advice show so i'm trying to get like you know I'm, i want the people to get to know you understand why you're why you have a, a good point of view why they should listen to you about solving their problems um so, you know, let's just get let's just get going here. Some basic biographical. I didn't realize you're a little Jersey boy. You can't when when did you come when did you come to America? You were born in Turkey? So I was born no no no. I was born in the United States of America. I was born okay. in the state of New Jersey. You can still be right? president. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um so I'm sure that'll definitely uh, happen. They'll yeah. definitely vote for a, a dude named Hassan, but um so I was born here as an anchor baby. Uh, oh, my yeah. parents gave birth to me on U.S. soil, so I could have a citizenship and become Smart. president one day. Yeah. Um, and then I uh, immediately they shipped my ass back. They snipped the tip of my penis. <laughs> oh uh, no! Got, You're yeah, circled. Of course. 
I'm a Come on, boy. dude. Stream's yeah. over. I'm yeah. <laughs> I, didn't realize, I didn't know boy. I had it's a circumcised stuck. guy on my phone. I thought I thought we were gonna be brothers in the fucking ant eater, dude. No, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> I'm I'm cirked up. It fucking sucks, dude. It Damn, sucks. your parents sent you to Cirque du Soleil as soon as you were born, dude. Yep. They didn't even <laughs> wait. They were just like, as soon as you're so it, in Turkish culture, you're actually. I kind of. I'm grateful that they cirked me up when I was a okay. fucking baby, because oh, really? in Turkish culture, there's this thing called sunnet. And it's supposed to be like a big fucking pageant and a coming of age moment for, you know, 13 year old boys. Because that's when they usually circ you up. When no. You're like much, yeah. When you're much Shut older. Shut the fuck up. And yeah. It's really bad, dude. It, it's like you can't be the same after that. No, dude. You've already beat off at 13. You can't fucking I, take. I don't know. You 13 is like a little bit older. I think like they do it when you're like nine or like, okay. you know, fucking. They, they okay. do it when you're a little bit younger, I think. But still, it's just insane. Yeah, six to seven. That's what Turks, okay. are, Turks in the chat are correct. Six me. to Sorry, seven. I was going to say, seven. if a nut has come out of your dick, you can't circumcise it. It's over. Yeah. That's that's I done. I, firing, I think I was firing blanks at, at 13, <laughs> yeah. maybe. I don't know when oh, I really? started coming, but I definitely started jerking out before I started coming. That's for sure. Oh, you had you were one of those phantom nut guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, you weren't? I always had a little something coming out. I, it, it looked like It looked like simple syrup before it was nut. It looked. It was too clear to be nut, but it was. We had a little yeah, yeah, something like coming out. Yeah, no, yeah. I remember. I, I remember the first time I had pre cum. Like I remember that. Like the first time I had anything, I was like, Oh yeah. my god! Like, I'm a man. This is the fucking best. Yeah. What was? Oh, this is interesting. I the first thing I beat off to was uh road, uh road trip. You know the scene where yeah uh, he's he's having sex with that plus size gal in the like black fraternity house like the nerd is that was the first thing i beat off to do you remember what the first thing you beat off to was i have no idea no idea Dude, i'm telling you i was i was doing phantom nuts i've been a horny <laughs> i've been horny for a long time brother so like I, I was i have no idea what the fuck it was damn but it was because so so when did you come back over here it was in turkey though you were jacking off in turkey as a youth oh yeah yeah, yeah of course oh yeah, yeah. turkish turkish dudes are they have tits out off. Is it is it like Greece where I remember one of the things I used to beat off to was we would get magazines from Greece and they would just have titties in them. So I would I would before my parents got home I would rush to get a to get a, a piece of the it was called the Tahidromo, which translates to the mailman magazine, and I would look for the titties and beat off very quickly and then put it back on the table before anyone was the wiser. Uh we had FHM and like, you know, like men's magazines, like Playboy style magazines okay. that you could like kind of, I think I remember like seeing a fold of like Denise Richards and her titties out and stuff. I remember <laughs> yeah, drugging off of that, yeah. but respect. Um, but if we're being honest, like I, I just like, there weren't that many options in Turkey growing I, up yeah. and I'll tell you, and this is something that my stream knows already. They've like made fun of me a million <laughs> yes, times over, yes, but yes, I was, I, I was so horny growing up that, I've done unimaginable things, and one of those unimaginable <laughs> things is I drew boobs and jerked off to the own drawing. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's so, self-sufficient. I don't know dude. what kind of advice people want from <laughs> someone like myself who has who has done shit like this. Are but, you kidding me, dude? That's oh, no, that's self-sufficiency. I, I was kidding you. That's what? that's Bear Grylls. That's how Bear, Bear Grylls jerks off the board. He's like, that's part oh, yeah. of that's part of surviving in nature. Or what oh, we're yeah. gonna do here is take a tree balk and. Fashion a pussy out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! That's great God. advice, man. Okay, but everyone's got a little bit of that. Everyone's definitely like, everyone's sure. definitely like, fuck some weird shit. I feel like people fuck like, um, I feel like people fuck like, uh, you know, couches and stuff. Isn't that like mm -hmm. a thing that people do? I fuck I have, pillows. Um, I was a pillow fucker. I remember when I was younger, like, I, one of my earlier memories of cooming when I was younger is like when I was. I never like came, but I remember getting a boner laying on top of a basketball, just like rubbing my penis on it. It's so sad. Why did I say that? I That's an ab workout that. too, bro. <laughs> you, yeah. were, you, were, yeah. you, were work <laughs> you were working on your core strength while you were jacking off. <laughs> yeah. Important. Yeah. I respect that big time. Early. Um, nice, man. So wait, when did you get back? When did you get back to America after a, uh, after a youth fill, filled with jacking off creatively in Turkey? So what happened is 
uh, my grandparents uh, have a house uh, in, in New Jersey, which they don't even occupy anymore. They mm. still have it, but they were they were in New Jersey. So sometimes I'd come and visit them in the summer. Right. Um, and, you know, when you're growing up in Turkey, like coming to America over the summer, like the most routine shit that American kids took for granted was like an experience for me. I still love going to grocery stores and shit. Right, right. Like because the the amount of like so many different kinds of oreos that you could fucking get like <laughs> yes. i love that shit you know oh, yeah. like we we had nothing like in turkey there was like eight different brands and they all sucked and then in america i was like oh my god like i love those like starbucks frappuccinos in a bottle mm. something that i just never even consider like totally of take course. for granted so that's interesting when i would go to greece i had the opposite experience obviously and it was like i just liked living like a fucking villager you know what I mean? Like, I liked that there was few. I was like, this is simple living, baby. We got only, there's only two kinds of cereals. And I would go, I would go get fucking, uh, I would go just get, you know, like fucking tiropites, like spit, you know, cheese pies, all that kind of shit. Um, but I guess, yeah, I guess that's true. You had, it was a nice come up. I bet you just stayed in the house fucking with AC oh, yeah. on drinking frappuccinos and shit. Oh, yeah. So I would like, yeah, I, every Sunday I would go to like a Walgreens or something like that. I think it was a Wegmans, maybe. I don't know. But a Wegmans, like a, like a, Wegmans, Wegmans still slap. knocks my socks off. Yeah. Wegmans is still fucking incredible. And so yeah. is Wawa. We could talk about the East Coast shit like that. But um, Wegmans is still excellent. But yeah. uh, it, it was one of those like franchise uh, stores, right? Yeah. Um, But what I... uh. What I ended up, oh, dude, everyone's fucking memeing me in my chat about the basketball. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I should have never said that. I'm so fucked. That Listen, rocks. Everything I say on Twitch gets memed into fucking oblivion. I love anyway. that you fucked the basketball, man. I love that. I mean, I didn't like, I couldn't stick my dick on it. I was just sure. like rubbing on it. Sure. Uh, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Who cares? You Fuck got it. jacked off by a basketball. You didn't fuck yeah. it. The basketball yeah, exactly. stopped you at a hand job. <laughs> exactly. Over the pants. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I guess it would have to be over the stuff. pants because you don't yeah, want your bare oh, cock on that. Like you don't yeah, want that oh, those no, little no, no. those little circles, those little dimples on your dick. <laughs> oh, another thing I can think of now is uh, pool, you go to the doctor. Uh, it's like, like Hassan, why is the there a spalding? Blood? Why is there spalding <laughs> on your cock? <laughs> uh, Sorry, what uh, are you saying? What, oh, another thing I could, I just remembered is uh, you know the the pool water blowers inside of pools. I would put my dick on that too. Yes, respect. That was that's, a, that was a big one. That's I'm sorry. Was it the like a pool straw or you mean the actual like filter? No, no, no. Like when you're inside of a pool and on the sides there's like holes and they like yes. constantly pump oh yeah water the jets. Out. Yeah. Oh, the that's jets. that's yeah. the best. That's that's yeah. as good as it gets, dude. I definitely did that. That's too. better that than a, a woman's a pussy, one. if you ask me. And then and then the worst. <laughs> <laughs> True, and then the worst part about that is like then you have a fucking boner in your and, and you have now you right. have a boner in your in your uh, yeah. bathing suit you're and in your aunt's pool it, yeah you're you're done like you can't get out no you know what i mean you gotta in let that boy pool. simmer yeah, no. you gotta let that boy yeah, totally. simmer for not, a while. not public pools yeah <laughs> well that's legal so, in turkey as far as i'm concerned that's, that's who gets to be the king of the pool whoever's the hardest in the public pool they give him a big sword. They give him a big curved sword, and he's the sultan of the pool. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how you assert dominance. Establish it. Um, but yeah, so that was another one. That randomly, fucking rocks. Um, that just uh, came to mind. Wait, what were we talking about before I t went back? To getting back to where America. I got my dig hard. What? Getting back to America. Oh yeah, so I would come to America and I would fuck pools and stuff, you yeah. know. <laughs> come back and uh, go back to the old country. I had a PlayStation country. Two that I would play all the time. That was pretty tight. That was the only yeah. time my parents wouldn't let me bring it back to Turkey. Damn, they were strict. My cousin had a oh, ton of PlayStation shit. I had a spoiled yeah. ass cousin, and they would they would jailbreak all the games. You get whatever the fuck game oh, you yeah. wanted in Greece. Yeah, I played every game on the PC pretty much for like two liras because everything is just jailbroken. Yeah, you can't buy you can't buy like actual uh, original copies of games in turkey and it's now like 700 lira it's really fucking expensive Damn. still to this day because of the taxes but back then it was super expensive as well and i'm like a little fucking kid so i was like no i'm playing yeah. i'm playing yeah. all these games but i gotta buy I America, basketballs i, go I keep to... deflating them i'm spending i'm keeping all my allowance <laughs> yeah. to get fresh basketballs <laughs> like, yeah. why do these keep flattening 
<laughs> I don't know. Fucking them. Yeah, I've never seen you play basketball once, Hassan. It's like, I love I it, Mom. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I just play him into the ground. But, um, but yeah, I would I would go to Borders and like Barnes and Noble and shit, and just Hell like yeah. read all the manga and all the all the comic books they had there, because that was also not something you could oh, buy. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I guess they didn't have any fucking... Yeah. I guess there wasn't that much anime shit. Now, let me ask you this. You were a horny young boy. Did Were people yep. fucking in Turkey? How did that go? No. 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 Really? So in our entire grade... So, it, it's unique because, like, Turkey is definitely more repressed sexually. Like, Turkish right. culture is definitely more repressed sexually than American culture or certain parts of American culture. Yeah. But also, at the same time, like, we have brothels. Like, government right. brothels. So, you have <laughs> right. sex workers who are, like, literally fucking... A, like government employees, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the culture is like you go to a prostitute, and that's how you lose your virginity. Like most mm. people would just like lose their virginity to a prostitute, but there's no fucking in high school. There was one or two people that fucked in high school, and everyone in the class knew like, oh, those are the people that fucked. It was like boyfriend, girlfriend, too. Oh wow. And oh, so they have to be like knew. married, basically. Did you get? Did you get? Did you fuck a prostitute for the first time? No, I, I, oh. I lost my virginity in America in a very interesting uh, in a very interesting story. But uh, I lost my virginity in America after I tr uh, came to the United States when I was 18 full time. That's the first time I landed on U.S. soil and like mm. lived in the United States in Miami when I was going to University of Miami. Oh, hell yeah, I, uh, I had sex with a girl outside of a I, I had sex with a girl in a courtyard of an apartment complex <laughs> uh, next to the pool. <laughs> yeah, a girl you got that never met before until that night. Outside oh, of yeah. a bar that no longer exists called Arrow Bar. Arrow Bar. Nice. Welcome to the USA. And yeah, Uncle was, Sam I mean, Uncle like Sam cried. After. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was like, as soon as you got yeah. off the plane. Yeah, you were by that pool, dude. dude. You saw those jets. You got all horned up. You were like, yeah. let me get the first pussy I can find. It was um, it was it was so it was an incredible experience. And then I didn't <laughs> even have sex for a very long time after that. <laughs> and I remember thinking the whole time while I was while I was doing it, I was like, I can't believe this is happening. It's my first blowjob, like, first wow. thing. Wow, like, you hit for the general. cycle. Your first yeah. at-bat, you hit a fucking grand slam. Yeah, so what I was thinking in that moment was, like, first of all, she didn't know I was a virgin. Right. And I used to go out with a uh, – I, I, I would fire one out for the boys before I went out. You know what I mean? Because I, I didn't want to, like, blue ball myself. So, so – Just to go get drinks with you, your friends. <laughs> Well, because I knew, like, if I meet someone, I knew if I meet someone in a nightclub, I can't yeah. bring them back 45 minutes to, like, the fucking, like, dude, I, I was a right. scientist, dude. When you're, right. when you're, like, 18 years old and you're horny, you're, like, a nut scientist. Of you course. know what I mean? You're, like, sure. calculating trajectories, like, yep. oh, there's, you know, there's there's humidity in the air. Of it course. increases your likelihood mm -hmm. that you're going to fucking How quick uh, you're gonna come bust. by 13%. So <laughs> right. I was... You know, I, I I had mapped out this idea in my head, like I'm gonna meet a girl in a nightclub. How the fuck is she gonna want to come back for forty, like on a forty five minute drive all the way back to Coral right. Gables campus? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, which is where Miami is. Right. Um. So I was like, I we just went outside somewhere. That rocks. So, and also I uh, didn't want to go out with uh, a bunch of bullets in the chamber. Of course, because it's Russian I knew roulette that would when come you go immediately. out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, respect to you, man. I, I, well, the only time I almost fucked in a courtyard, um, it was in, uh, Vermont, I believe. And it was just like, I, I, there was people just walking around. I was just eating pussy on all fours with my ass, just a breeze blowing into my ass. And <laughs> I could just, I could not, I could just not get hard. There was too many people, like, people would walk around. I was just being outside. I can't do it. There's no, there's, it's, it was almost performance anxiety for me, but anyway, brother. Um, yeah, it's that's good to. Well, didn't fuck to your 18, but now you're probably, you're getting so much. You're probably getting that that those Facebook explainer video. You were getting Facebook explainer video pussy back in the day. Were you getting Were you getting hit up in the messages in Facebook <laughs> when those videos um, were popping? Oh yeah, uh, never never on Facebook, but <laughs> I did. Uh, here, I'll just I'll just restream yours. Okay, sweet. Um, but Instagram for sure. Like that was definitely where I, uh, nice. That was definitely where people like, were hitting me up, but I never, I only had sex with one person that was a fan. Mm. Like, uh, and, and I just decided not to do it again. I, I didn't, I didn't like yeah. the experience because like, um, she was very forward, which was cool. Right. Um, but 
also like this was a long time ago but she was very forward which was cool but she was like really invested <laughs> you know i mean like early yeah like, absolutely she knew me uh, it is way better than i knew her you know what i mean absolutely dude the the somebody like just like i listen i i've had sex with i'll say more than one fan um let's put it a little over one but never if they're like talk like if they if somebody's talking to you and they're like oh yeah that thing you said in a conversation two years ago and they're like referencing something you don't even fucking remember and you're like oh yeah i have no idea what the fuck you're talking about man um yeah but it is it must be nice because people will fuck me because they know who i am i can't even imagine how much pussy's getting rained down on those little lips I can't even imagine what that beard smells like right now. <laughs> no, I, ever since I got on Twitch, it's been uh, it's been pretty dry. But that's no, just, like, that's how on dare my, you? That's on me though. Like it's not like, yeah, I'm just like constantly. Don't lie it's to the people. I'm fucking streaming nonstop, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You just start getting head while streaming. Um, that's something that's, to think about. Some people don't even bring that up because like some people literally th uh, fucking <laughs> think that like. <laughs> There, there well, are there are people who accuse me of like, uh, yeah, I know there's a delay, guys. It's because I am rebroadcasting Sav's uh, image because my camera's not showing up. Yeah, I don't you know. Fucking pieces broken. of shit. But yeah, people people accuse me of like getting a uh, head under, uh, under, getting head under, under the, the fucking desk. desk or some shit. It's crazy. That's a power. That's the final. That's the final power move that you got to do. Anyway, listen, baby, we could chat all day. This is very fun. But why don't we solve a couple problems? Why don't we take some voicemails? That's the that's the the crux of this show. So um, let's go ahead, um, go ahead and Ralph hit us with our first question. Oh, let's do it. Hey, Stavi, this is Zach, um, a first time caller. Um, listen, I just was reading the news today, and I saw that um, Ghislaine Maxwell, um, the madam for Jeffrey Epstein, was arrested in New Hampshire just minutes ago, and um, I'm from there. So I was wondering if you if you think it's a good idea for me to go up there and gather some of my strongest <laughs> boys and break her out, you know, I'm going to find where she is, stand guard. Is this important? It yes. is important. So um, if you think I should do that, just, just uh, let mm -hmm. me know. And hopefully she's still alive by the time you read this on the air. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Get a citizen's militia together to patrol and make sure, make sure all the cameras are working and every, and all the guards are, are, are have slept overnight and aren't too sleepy and no irregularities happen we got protect protect galane at all costs absolutely brother what do you think what do you think hassan i'm just i'm i'm worried because i i feel like galane maxwell was very attractive uh yeah. when she was younger sure oh like I, uh, interesting i i do i i think she was i think she was an attractive uh lady Mm -hmm. And I'll just never understand why, um, I don't know. I'll just never understand why, if you got that, uh, why you got to go anywhere else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you're saying she was too hot to be a pedophile's accomplice. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. She definitely <laughs> was a pedophile's accomplice. Oh, oh, oh. You're saying she was why definitely would... definitely implicated. That doesn't save her. Don't get yes, me wrong. Yeah, you're saying like, why oh would you God. fuck kids? Like, why would you fuck kids if you uh, you had a hot lady on deck? That's that. Yeah, that was my classic fucking hot couch guy take. It was like, dude, I don't fucking get it, dude. Like, dude, why would you fuck yeah. anybody else? You got Ghislaine, dude. Got... That's true. You know. You're right. It is her fault for not being hot enough to stop him from fucking kids. Hassan, you heard Hassan, he for, folks. That's his take. And <laughs> everybody, put that up. Uh, and, uh, that's the next scandal. That's, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yes. Yeah, stand guard. Make sure nothing happens to Ghislaine, buddy. You get over there in New Hampshire, have some fucking maple syrup and make sure, make sure the Clintons stay far away from wherever her jail cell is. Um, hit me with the next yeah. one. Hit me with the next one, Ralphie. Hey, Sav. Um, so I'm wondering, I work at Walmart. And I'm not the biggest fan of that job, and I'm too dumb to go to normal college. Mm. But um, I'm wondering, should I join the priesthood? Because <laughs> I am a Catholic, and there is a priest shortage, so they pay for the education. Wow. And um, basically what I can do 
is once I become a priest, I can like join a monastery and then I can just hang out with the boys and get drunk. So I'm wondering, <laughs> do I stick it through with Walmart or should I join the priesthood? Thanks, buddy. Bye. Damn. Interesting. So you're good with not getting pussy for the rest of your life? I don't know. I mean, yeah, he wants to he wants to hang out with the boys, which uh, takes precedent over getting pussy. I I, I get that. You I get mean, it. That's kind of what I do right now <laughs> yeah, uh, when yeah. I'm on Twitch. Like that's pretty much what I'm doing on Twitch all day is hanging out with the boys. Right. And and not getting pussy. Not getting video top. games, being angry over dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I, I I'm a beacon of of health and yeah. Uh, you know what? I I think uh, I think that is a smart he should be thing a priest. I would say I would I would rather be a priest than work at Walmart for sure. Um and I mean if you're a gay guy you could fuck the other priests on the sneak. There's so, at the monastery. That's really hanging yeah, out with the boys. The nuns do then. I mean, yeah. I guess don't priests kind of do that? No, right? That's not a thing that they uh, do, right? Uh, I don't know. I think I think they do. Um, Wait, he said hanging with the boys on purpose. Oh. Oh, you think it's with the boys, oh, underage geez. boys. Don't oh, fuck geez. listen. No, if if you're going to be a priest, now here's the hard thing. We don't want to. We do not. Neither me nor Hassan support child molesters. Having said that, if you're gonna be a, if you if you're an aspiring child molester, joining the Catholic Church is like joining the Yankees. You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like go. I don't condone it, and I don't think you should do it. But there's definitely there's definitely pedophiles out there that are like, damn. Maybe if I get my stats up, I could become a Catholic priest. <laughs> right now, I'm just a Jeffrey Epstein is like Jeffrey Epstein is like a free agent. Uh, he, he himself outside of the the yeah he transcends above. He's like the LeBron James. Totally, of wherever he goes, it because they're already they're they're automatic title contenders wherever Epstein goes. Yeah, but yeah. the Catholic it's Church scary. has been there from day. They're they're the Bulls. They're the Lakers. <laughs> they're the they're the Celtics. <laughs> Yeah, you, there's probably like better files <laughs> to catch a pair. Guys who got caught on to catch a pair, they're like, man, if I hadn't gotten Chris Hansen, I'd be a, I'd be a fucking Monsignor by now. I just know it. I would have shot up the ranks of pedophilia. <laughs> um, yeah. So don't be a priest if you're a child molester. That's our that. But and if you're listen, if you're OK with never fucking for the rest of the life, go be a priest or become a Greek Orthodox priest. You're allowed to have a wife as a Greek Orthodox priest. So it's the best of and both worlds. Dude, yeah, they're horny. They are horny. We do it right, the man. Greeks horny. The Greeks were too horny to be like, the no fucking thing is like ridiculous. Yeah. Like, hey, come on. You telling me I can't get no pussy? I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> um. All right. Next question, Big Ralph. Hey, Savvy. So I've been with my current girlfriend for like five years, and uh, I always played a lot of video games, and she always fucking looked down at me for it. And then I got her a switch and got her gaming mm. and all of a sudden she's hooked. Well, anyway, I, I gave her the switch, but I play PS4 and now all of a sudden she wants to play the games on the PS4 in the living room. Uh -huh. And, you know, at first I was excited. Cause I'm like, Oh, maybe we could, you know, play games together. But she just likes playing these really fucking long RPGs in the living room on my PS4 Damn. for hours. And then when she turns it off, she puts on some fucking, you know, indie Netflix film. Anyway, it's, it's, it's uh, what do I do? I can't, I do, I don't know. You fucked up. I don't know, Sai, you're more of a gamer than I. Why don't you take the lead on this one? I mean, I welcome, I welcome female gamers. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I also personally like uh, RPG games, so I don't know what the problem is. I mean, I'm assuming <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of toxic masculinity from uh, from our friend here, uh, yeah. who probably just wants to play like some fucking normie casual tier shit, like uh, like a gamer jock. He wants to play fucking Call of Duty or yep. or you know Madden or whatever. Just buy another PS4. Uh, buy, that is the, that is the hard dick solution. You buy another PS4 and you get another you get another TV and you got his and hers PS4s and that's the most beautiful relationship I could ever think of. You know what I mean? You yeah. just over there. Also get into RPG games. Um, this but, way you bond with your uh, significant other. You bond with your girlfriend. But he, only one and, person can really play a long ass RPG though, right? You're just out there watching her. True. You know? I mean, I mean that. Yeah, tell that to 
the thousands of people that watch me play video games. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, what kind of fucking yeah. loser watches somebody else play video games as we're both on Twitch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, you're right. And and the good thing is you get to fuck this, you know, a lot of people watch you play video games and they want to fuck you. This guy gets to watch his girlfriend play video games and then he gets to fuck her. Um, That's true. You know? I've um, never had that. I've never I've never played out that fantasy where like I've I've never had sex with someone while playing video games or like after or during or any any yeah, other I time. Could, I could I had a friend in college who his girlfriend would give him top. They were both my friends. Both the girl and the guy were my friends. And actually I was closer to the girl and she said that whenever he lost in Halo, his dick got less hard. <laughs> that whenever he got killed, she could feel his dick go down like ten percentage hardness points. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. He really he was really involved. Um all right. Give us the next one, Ralphie. What's up, brother? So I was recently out in the Chaz slash chop oh, autonomous man. zone in Seattle. Just got back. Um question is should I seek therapy? <laughs> Basically, I was involved in two different shootings in the crossfire of that shit. And I mean, kind of like, whatever, back to life. But I still got that urge that, like, fucking, I want to run that that high stress. (laughs) Yes. Other thing. (sighs) Is it worth continuing that? Should they abandon that shit? It's getting dangerous. Shut up. I mean, Black Lives Matter and shit, but is it worth putting... Innocent Mother- people at risk in that situation when Motherfucker motherfuckers running up in there with guns and intentionally trying to kill people just for the hell of it. All right. Get yeah, out of there. Just, just curious. Just want to, want to know your advice. I don't know. You think he's real? You think this is real? Um, he does seem strong, know, high man. strong enough. <laughs> But listen, yeah, go to fuck. Of course, a if you were fucking involved in a shoot. When you say you were involved in a shooting, tell me you didn't shoot anybody. Um, but yes, no, I, there were there were a couple of shootings that happened in the the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone or yeah. the Occupy protest. I don't think this guy was involved in the in the off chance that he. But I will give him credit for act. Not bad acting in terms of bit goes. Um, but. Yeah. Parody for legal reasons, regardless, it, <laughs> yeah. this is a parody. This is Uh-oh. a parody for sure. And yes, yeah. yeah, go get therapy and don't start talking about what you should or shouldn't do until you have dealt with the mental health consequences of being invol- involved around the shooting or whatever. Um, it really, when he said, I still got that urge. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, uh, what, what I don't know exactly what we talking about there, pal. I, I thought it was a meme that Come Town was for uh, the podcast for school shooters. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't yet. Yeah. I don't know how we've we've avoided that, but um, yeah, because they drop out too early. This is really the only reason. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, go get therapy, pal. Either way, hit me with the next one, Ralph. Tough stuff. Um called before but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give my name this time i um i'm from denver and uh i you know during the protests i've been pretty active there's a statue that's dedicated to um massacre of over 200 innocent indigenous women and children damn and uh so let, let's just say I I uh, might have allegedly been involved in pushing it over. <laughs> Why are you motherfuckers calling like me after doing crimes? And, um, <laughs> I have a pretty unique haircut. I have a, like a mullet rat tail combo. You don't say. Uh, I was just wondering, <laughs> should I cut it off? Because they say they have video evidence. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's kind of you know part of my identity. So oh my god, yeah, yeah. Go to fucking jail because you want to hang know, on to a rat tail as a twenty-seven year old man. Thanks, stop. <laughs> you dumb bitch. Oh, was he one of the was he one of the fourteen uh, people that Donald Trump posted about on his Twitter? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> At that point, you just got to post it on your Instagram, brother. Be like, yep, that's me. Yeah, it, it's GGS. No. If you still want to keep the if you still want to keep the rat tail, <laughs> because the 
part of your identity and this is how you uh, g are going to get laid, then, you know, really lean into it and just post the photo that Donald Trump posted. Mm -hmm. I would not immediately change your identity. I It would be really funny to he does everything but get the rat tail. He like gets he grows a mustache. He dyes his hair, but he's still just got that fucking horrible rat tail. And by the way, I'm going to also say shower. Because if you're th if you're this type of guy, stop wearing vet. I know you're wearing vests with buttons on it. He's he's and now he starts wearing like suits and he's got a little mustache, but he still keeps the rat tail. Um, um yeah, shave your head, stop running. I, he seemed like he was still on the run while he was calling in. He was panting heavily. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say chop that rat tail off. It's time. All right. I think it's you should time. chop that rat tail off regardless. Even if you were not implicated in a crime, you should probably <laughs> right, chop it right, the fuck right, off. Right, right, right. And it yeah. will it will make your life better, I think. 100%. 100%. He's not um, it's just a shame that he's never going to hear this cuz he's already in the gulag. Yeah, he absolutely. Like, he's getting he's getting pulled by his he's getting detained by the rat tail as we speak. Um yeah. you know, good luck, buddy. I'm sure you'll still be able to get uh get head from girls with dyed very dark black hair in a bob with a septum piercing um i'm sure they'll still be able to suck you off while you okay, wear now you're vest. making an argument for me to get a rat tail <laughs> i'm totally reconsidering my haircut because who doesn't like that that is true that isn't listen i'm not i'm just saying that's exactly who this guy fucks any man with a rat tail with definitely like a sleeveless jean jacket uh, he is, he's getting, he's getting top from a girl like that with hairy armpits and they both haven't showered in weeks. They're getting, they're, they're getting, they're fucking, they're giving each other gonorrhea in an abandoned, uh, train station somewhere right now. So, uh, good luck is to you, buddy. Is that what happens in Brooklyn? I feel like, I feel like that's <laughs> what happens, right? That's what it is. Brooklyn, Baltimore had a nice amount of that too. Abandoned warehouses. Um, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, crusty, crusty anarchist, dude. There's a lot of crust. Yeah, there's a lot of crusty cock and pussy being exchanged around these parts. Um, yeah, you know, you you after Jersey, you went right. You went to Miami, and then you went right. You went to L.A. or what? Uh, I went from Miami to New Jersey. I went to Rutgers, and then oh, um, yeah. and then after that, I immediately got the fuck out of New Jersey because it sucks. Cause yeah, it's New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I moved to L.A. and I've been living here for. I've been living here for like how many years? Like seven years now. Nice. Yeah, they don't they don't have that kind of crusty shit over there. Um, yeah. All right, let's get another one going, Ralphie. Hey, Zadavi. As a federal man, I bet you can help me with this situation. <laughs> uh, I often have this internal dialogue with myself of whether or not to put my height into my Tinder bio or not. Hmm. Sometimes when I go to match and I go on a date, they're usually fine with it. Other times, they tend to kind of be. Very turned off by it. They seem to be annoyed. <laughs> I was wondering, as once again, since you are also a fellow manlet, All right, I man, was wondering if you could probably tell me when is the best time to give them a heads up that I'm a little on the shorter side. You know, I'm not necessarily, you know, catfishing them with their bios. It's pretty obvious in all my group pictures that I'm the shortest of the bunch. However, mm. you know, being 5'5", five five, you know, can be uh, a turn off since it is below okay. average. So I was wondering... Uh, your advice on to help the situation. Thanks, Steph. Hmm. Well, look, I'm... Listen, man. I don't mean to be this guy. 5'7 five, and 5'5, five, five, there's a nice amount of difference there. Okay? So don't... don't, don't I, I'll say this. When I show up... Like, what did I say earlier? There's spiritual height and then there's physical height. You gotta get your fucking spiritual height up, brother. Alright? You're coming out there fi ashamed to be 5'5. Five, five. Fuck that. It, you love who you are, man. I have never... I fuck girls taller than me, and I show up, and it's almost like... I mean, I'm lucky that if you're going to fuck me, what's two in, What's being short? You know, if you've already Wait, decided... How, how tall are you, Stop? I'm 5'7". You you're 5'7"? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at a point where it's like, listen, if you made the decision to fuck me, being short is not going to be the deal breaker. All right? You've already... There's a lot of stuff you've... you've if So... I would say you got to look even stupider. You probably look like a regular guy who happens to be little. You got to fucking get, you got to knock out your teeth. You got to get stupid facial hair. Um, you got you to gotta do something to, to, to tip them off. But in terms of giving them a, I don't know. 
I don't know. What what would you? I, I would never tell somebody oh. before. Would you? What do you? Oh my! I, I've I've heard this so many times. I have a segment called Chad Vice, and I mm -hmm. I do this similar thing. And like ninety percent of the uh, people asking for advice is exactly this. <laughs> really? All right. Um, yeah. Short kings. <laughs> Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, immediately purchase, immediately purchase uh, platform shoes. Like you know those Doc Martens. Those are, I even have them. I bought them on the internet. I thought they were regular boots. It, they were like they had platforms under them. Yeah. Who cares? Wear mm -hmm. them. I'm six four and I still wear fucking platform shoes. All right. If you're five five, you should automatically be wearing. You get lifts, shoes. baby. Boom! You get that lift. You're five eight. All of a sudden, you're even taller than Stav. That's right. right. And then, <laughs> not only do you wear platform shoes, but then you lie. Just fucking lie about your height. I don't understand. Like, definitely lie. I cannot I love stress this. this enough. Like, there's no fault. There's no problem with being 5'5", five five, but there's also no problem with just fucking saying that you're 5'8". Who the fuck's going to know the difference? Like, who cares? Like, All right. At the, point, at the point where you're like, you say you're 5'8", you got to fucking... Uh, three inch, you got three inch platform shoes on, mm -hmm. and you take the fucking platforms off. Like, who cares at that point? Like, obviously you gotta fuck, you gotta fuck off, on your tippy toes you enough anyway. Yeah, no, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta start taking some ballet classes so you can strengthen up your toe strength. Because you're gonna need to be, yeah. you're gonna be getting pussy on your tippy toes. <laughs> she's, she's on her knees. You gotta be on your toes, getting sucked off. <laughs> I'm just, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, they're not gonna know how tall you are when you guys are lying in bed uh, next That's to right. one another. And even when you, when you get to the point where you gotta take the platform boots off, like at that stage, like she is the, mo she has to be the most conceited, awful, shallow person oh. ever. She's like, uh, -huh. actually, you told me you were five eight, but you're five five. Like, right. You know that that's just you're at least insane. getting pussy that night. Maybe you're not getting a, a follow up, but your dick is <laughs> gonna get wetted up that evening. Um, and oh, listen, the other thing is though, if you sh the other thing I'll say, which is kind of it's the cousin to just lie, is like whatever you need to do to get there, get there, get to the date. Don't put it in your fucking bio. Get to the date, and then it's up to your personality to make up. Oh, even yeah, if you if you don't want to if you don't want to fucking if you don't want to you know. Walk around in fucking platforms. You know what I mean? If you don't want to look like an extra on Soul Train, then maybe what you need to do is just get there and just believe in yourself. Make up those inches personality-wise. Like I said, spiritually get your height up. Um, yeah, no, that's the that's the main thing. Uh, a lot of a lot of people who are uh, really obsessive about their height um, kind of make it harder for themselves like yeah for sure when you are when you are constantly focusing on your height and constantly thinking about it you're you're handicapping yourself for no reason yes uh, sir where you know if you had if you were very confident and it, it is something you can work on and it is something you can get better at by just doing over and over again by talking to a lot of people uh if you were confident you could absolutely make up for it uh with yeah. your personality which is key usually if uh, anything if anything the more the, the dumber you look and the more confident you are, it 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 multiplies how confident you are. Look, it, like that's that's the thing. That's what has saved me in my entire life in every facet. It's just it's almost being people almost being like surprised by how little I give a fuck. And that's the other thing. People aren't that judgmental. They take your, their cues on what you put out. Um. So anyway, um. You heard it, you heard it here first, folks. Just just fucking. Either wear platform shoes, lie. Our advice is wear large shoes, lie to women, and everything will be okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait, no wait, let me just, let me just repeat. No, no, no. I am saying that. I am saying that for sure. I am definitely saying that. But what I'm also saying is like, you, you, that is always going to help you. Okay. Yes. Wearing platform shoes and lying to women about your height originally, but like you know, within the margin of fucking error. Of course. Like, don't say you're six yeah. foot if you're five five. Like coming come up on. in stilts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, just you can lie within the margin of error for sure. Mm -hmm. But then also, on top of that, uh, like if you still don't have a good personality, if you're still not confident, like you're still gonna fucking butcher it. So totally, totally. Obviously, that's the most important part is your your uh the way you deal with it and right. your uh confidence and be honest with yourself is it the height or is it that you blew it and here's the other thing or is she a dumb bitch because the kind of person that's like uh you're shorter than i thought and just dismisses it outright without giving you at least a shot is kind of a dumb bitch anyway 
Um, all right. You don't want to be with a person. Yes, you don't want to be with a person who is uh, already dismissing you because of your height anyway. Yes. Um, oh, this is a good one. Somebody in the chat says, lie about your height and go to the date in a wheelchair. <laughs> Show up in a wheelchair. <laughs> Pretend your legs don't work. She'll never know how fucking tall okay, you are. That, okay, that is definitely way worse than what I said. <laughs> And could be rape, I think, at some stage. Like, literally yeah. not even uh, legal, most likely, to, like, lie to someone. I'm just imagining w having your hard-ass dick out and then, like, wheel it, automatic wheeling. Like, you know, the, the wheelchairs that work with your finger? Wheeling in and out of the yeah. pussy. <laughs> That's the oh, hawking Jesus style. <laughs> oh, Let me God. get some pussy. Bust it wide open for me, bitch. <laughs> Wait, why are you Stephen Hawking now? Like, well, now what? we're taking it to its its logical even, you're not conclusion. You're on a motorized scooter anymore. You're on you a just, motorized. You, you, you got it all. <laughs> um, let's. Do, you got time for one more, bite, baby boy? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All, all right, hit us There's with another. There's a lot of people that need help out here, and I'm, absolutely. I'm just I'm ready. We're ready. Hey, we'll go until you got it. You you don't have to. Um, hit us with the other one, Ralphie. Yo, what up, Stav? So, it's been well over three years since my only girl ever dumped me. Another two since we've talked at all. But I keep having dreams about her. Some sexual, Jesus but mostly Christ. emotional shit where we're getting back together, like, Damn. negotiating the terms of it. Brutal but, stuff. But uh, when I'm awake, I'm pretty much over her. I know it's never <laughs> going to happen, and I don't even want her back when I think about it with oh, my brain. No. But these dreams clearly demonstrate where my heart is at. <laughs> now, obviously, I haven't even no. gotten the slightest whiff of pussy from anyone else <laughs> since then, which is probably why this is happening. But with the quarantine and all, it can't hurt to find another way to work on this problem while I continue my quest for top. So, you got any advice on stopping these fucked up dreams that oh, I don't geez. even want? When I'm awake, I don't even agree with them. Jeez, uh, that would be sick. Uh, thanks. Love you. Bye. Damn, dude. This is the the phrase when I when I'm awake, I'm over her. It's brutal. I, I mean, hearing his voice, I'm glad that the dreams are only about them getting back together. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I was I was expecting that to go somewhere way worse than just. Yeah, I, I dream about my ex. Respect for how yes, absolutely for how de for how depressed and deranged possibly that voice could be. You're doing pretty good. You're you're doing pretty good for having for speaking like sex offender Eeyore. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got it. He's got the pre built. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I would take like some dialect lessons. Maybe maybe pick up an accent. You know. Yes. Just, Start lying again. Again, so lying is the solution. Why? <laughs> so why about your background? Uh, first of all, change your dialect. You know, uh, uh -huh. say you're British. Learn a lot mm -hmm. about the monarchy. Oh like, yeah. Be, one of those be a royalist. So much. Yeah. Be a be a royalist, uh, pro monarch uh, <laughs> Brit. And and then now you have a cool backstory. That's one. And also, you've changed your voice from a guy who, uh, you know, has toenail clippings of his victims in his basement or something, <laughs> yeah. to someone who is British, which is automatically a personality for Americans. So, yes, you you're, an accent is good to go. Um, yeah. I mean, listen, buddy, I got to be honest with you. You got to get the, you got to do some fucking call in therapy or whatever the fuck it is. You can't, you can't have your ex incepting you, dude. This is just this is just Leonardo DiCaprio fucking with him from Inception. Just like, let's find a guy who hasn't fucked and put his... Tell, put his ex-girlfriend in his dream saying she loves him. <laughs> yeah. The, the other thing I would, the other advice I can give, and this is universal advice, is to learn astrology. Oh, okay? interesting. So he's already, he's already a step, he's already one step removed from it because he's like talking about his dreams. He's like dream journaling and shit. So he's yeah. already like halfway to that point anyway. If you learn about, if you learn about horoscopes and shit, like it'll genuinely improve your chances. Because girls love that shit. Chances. It'll be an automatic thing that you can talk about. So uh, that is a another high key recommendation, a universal recommendation from myself to you guys. Okay, I like this. Get, learn dumb bullshit that girls think is true. So astrology, crystals, start saging shit. You got to sage your cock. You got to burn some sage around your cock and balls because there's crystals bad spirits. Is, yeah. 
blocking it from getting sucked off right now. Astrology is like novice level. If you also get into crystals, oh my lord, dude, it's undefeated. I love this. You this want to talk about for ages. <laughs> this is great. I never even thought about that. To I never even thought about the 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 value of 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 getting into shit girls like pretending to get into it. And then who knows? You might find yourself being a fucking shaman, dude. You might do this for pussy, and then you might actually start what believing real? in it. Yeah. You might start even believing in crystals. I thought it was real all along, and now, <laughs> now you know. Now you can unlock the secrets of the universe. <laughs> there oh, it yeah. is. <laughs> I love it. Um, let's rock a question, Ralphie. Stop! Oh my fucking god! There's a giant ass fucking spider in my apartment. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, it's but not live. Fucking um, Stavi, baby. I I just came within a hair's breadth. Of getting my first DUI tonight. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going and on? I have Everyone's to making go to me court an for this fucking ticket. It's not a DUI ticket. But I have to go to court for it. And I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, Stavi. Like, should I, get a, <laughs> should I get a fucking lawyer for this shit? Should I just take my fucking licks? Or, like, what? Um... Advice would be appreciated. Thank mm. you. You should, throw, you should throw yourself to the mercy of the court. Of the American legal system. Um, Wait, how do you... Did he get arrested for a DUI? Because, uh, I mean, I, I have personal experience with that as I, well. He says he got a ticket? I don't know. I mean, first of all, just stop fucking drinking and driving. As a matter of fact, yeah. probably best if you stop drinking as well. Right. Uh, if you're if you're getting to the stage where you're, like, drunk driving and shit. Yeah, and and um, stop drinking because you're you're doing... You're harming the community... By A, drinking and driving, and B, leaving bad, overly performative calls on my show. Because uh, we sure. know you weren't surprised yeah, by that drunk, fucking spider. Drunk, don't drunk dial. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. But, yeah, stop drinking, probably. And, um, yeah, get a fucking lawyer. What the fuck kind of questions are these? Of course get a okay, fucking so I got, lawyer. I got one more thing. Okay, so, um, you know... Uh, Join, uh, join a a local mosque. Okay, you can. Mm -hmm. you, there's a lot of travel opportunities there oh, as well. This. You can go and and uh, you know travel to exotic lands. Uh, you reinstitute Sharia in America by <laughs> uh, by exhibiting uh, fifth pillar or fifth column tactics, and mm -hmm. uh, you know you have a life's goal all of a sudden. Yeah, and alcohol is haram. Alcohol so, is haram. You're fucking out, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you you just find Allah's light and you uh, talk about the glory of uh, Islam to others. That would be nice. I would like a lot of white alcoholics getting to getting straight to fucking Islam. That's the next step. Um, <clears throat> so you heard that alcohol is haram, but my balls yeah. they're halal. <laughs> Hit me, hit me with, uh, let's let's get another one going. Hey, Sabi baby, it's George from Chicago. I want to get your opinion on something. Um, I consider myself to be entirely straight up until a couple months ago Hell where yes. I had a little makeup test with one of my boys. Um, I I'm wondering about the term bisexual. Uh, I wouldn't say my problem is I wouldn't say I like men so much as I just fucking hate women sometimes. Would it be uh, sort of a faux pas for me to consider myself to be part of the queer community? Thanks for your advice, baby. See you around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> time out. <laughs> You're not. This is this is a man having trouble coming to terms with the fact that he wants to suck off his friend. So he's trying to say he's such a misogynist. He's gay. But that's not what's going on, bro. You are you're sort of you're bi. All right? It's nothing wrong with that. Women you you might not like women. That doesn't mean that's making you suck somebody off. <laughs> oh, he hates women so much. He's gay now. <laughs> That's great. That's wow. Okay, I, I love that. Um, I got oh. nothing to that. I mean, more more glory to you, brother. Yeah. Just, you know, listen. Suck go explore. Experiment. Explore your sexuality, bro. Don't leave women completely out of this fucking calculus. All right. And this also is about alone. leave them alone. It seems yeah. like you don't like them anymore. Or completely. Yeah. It would be funny if he truly was just such a misogynist. He just started being gay. He's like yeah. he's 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 grimacing through every every blow job he's taking. Um yeah, listen. Try smooch your little smooch your boys some more. Love that by the way. That's that's a nice night out on the town. 
Uh, that ever happened to you over in Miami, dude? You know, you 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 beat off that one in the morning or that one pre going out. No girl, no. There's no pussy in the field for you, so you get back to the dorms. Man, let me let me see what my my boy's lips you, are looking kind of soft. Your boy's cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> looking good, double cheeked up. No, I, I, I've, I have not, but um, you hey, know, don't rule I, that out. I, I say this all the time. I'm like, I I just have never been in a situation where I have uh, I've never been in a situation where I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd clap this dude's cheek. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not ruling it out, but it yeah. just hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Maybe listen. Maybe if enough women make you mad like this guy, you might you might find yourself there, according to him. So good yeah, luck, I mean, brother. Congratulations on on kissing your boy. And uh, now let's get his cock in your mouth. That's the next step. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get some uh, sissy hypno going, dude. Watch some <laughs> sissy hypno. <laughs> yes, absolutely. See, see where that takes you. <laughs> uh, keep him rolling there, Ralphie. Hey, Stav. I want to be anonymous. But I also don't have like a super sweet auto tuner, um, you know, switchboard like you do. So I got like a weird lump on my testicle that I okay. know for a fact is not an STD, but I probably need to spend like a thousand bucks for a dermatologist to like get it cut out of my nut. Mm. So sometimes I can trick a girl into like fucking me without her seeing like the weird big lump on my nut. But what would you do if you need to go to a doctor? You don't have enough money to cut Jesus. a big, weird-looking testicle monster off your nuts. All right, I'll set my question off here. Bye, Stavi. Uh, damn. So you got a lump on your balls, and you're just kind of letting that ride? I think you got to get that t taken care of, bro. I know, I know, a thousand bucks is a lot of money, but you don't think it could be cancer? If it listen, if it's not cancerous. You know How it's not an know? STD. Yeah, he doesn't know. He just knows it's not an STD. Um, yeah, because it's testicular cancer. You should definitely go to the doctor and get that shit checked out. You got it. You... Not. Yeah. And if it's not cancerous and it's just like a fucking skin tag or something, then you lucked out. Now yeah. you automatically life. Life rarely ever gives you <laughs> gifts like this. a third little you know nut. I mean? You're you're over here complaining that you have a. You got to upgrade uh, <laughs> yeah. at, in, your, in your adult life uh, to mm -hmm. your ball sack. Like your yeah. balls look bigger now, which is you, great. Unless you have a really tiny penis. Yeah. Uh, in which case, then I guess like it makes your penis look even smaller. Well, you know, some might say that, but some might think it's pretty nice to have a little dick and huge balls. <laughs> There's, there oh, might be. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, you're right. That some some might say, you know, I literally, yeah, I keep getting, I keep getting ball compliments, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, if it's not cancer, first you got to find out if it's cancer. If it's not cancer, then yeah, but dude, you got, you basically got a little Sibian on your on your nuts. If a girl rides your reverse cowgirl, maybe that little lump goes right on her clit, and you might have something there. Uh, so that's something to think about. Um, but yeah, God, that's, a, that's not a problem. That is that is what we in the business call like a good problem to have. <laughs> that's right. It's not cancer. You got to check. You got to check and see if it's cancer, bro. And I know it's tough. This country fucking sucks dick that you even have to have. This, this should not be a question. You should just have gone to the doctor and found out if you have an upgraded nutsack or if you have cancer. And uh, I don't know. Do you have any friends that are doctors? When I didn't have insurance... I mean, I still don't have insurance, but when I when I when I had Medicaid, that was tight. I guess you don't make, you make too much money for Medicaid, but in my experience, a lot of doctors will work with you if you don't have insurance. They'll at least like put you. Weirdly, no insurance sometimes is better than shitty insurance because they'll put you on like a payment plan on their work with you, or because they know they're not getting money from the insurance company, they'll actually like shit costs less. I got an MRI with no insurance, and it was it wasn't cheap, but it was less than it would have been. Um, so I would reach out to people that you know, try and figure out whether you got a deluxe sack or you, you got something you got to take take care of. Um, yeah. All right, Ralphie, let's keep them rolling, Poppy. Hey, Big King Sob. I had a question about the direct correlation between how long you can last masturbating and how long you will last in the bedroom. As a dedicated virgin, I would like to pose this question. The reason being is that with talent and skill, I've reached the point where if I am jacking, to, to be precise, I can actually finish by technique within half a minute to a minute. I'm a speeder in this bitch. 
But I want to know, how much does that translate to the real world? Does 30 seconds jacking mean 30 seconds in the bedroom? Or is my talent (laughs) so good that I can get 30 seconds out what it might take in me eight minutes? No. Thank you, Big King Savvy. Love you. <laughs> this is, I didn't realize it was speed running, pussy. You, I thought he was. I no. thought it was the opposite. I was about to say I do the same thing. No, no, he's jacking off himself. He's not fuck. This man, come on, listen to that voice. This is a voice that's never. No pussy juice has fallen on those vocal cords. I'll tell you that much. Um, this dude's gonna come in his pants. The, yeah. the first opportunity that he has. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. The first time somebody rubs up against you, you are blasting. Your little prick is absolutely going off like a geyser. Wait, um, does he not realize you need to go longer, not faster? Like you don't win when you when you come quickly. It's yeah. the opposite, actually. If he wants to, if he wants to ever have a repeat customer, sure. Like cause when I was younger, again, let's focus on a customer for him. I, I was, <laughs> I was, when I was younger, I, I like I said, I'm a, I'm a fucking come scientist, pretty much. Sure, of course. Uh, I realized early on, like. You know, these guys in porn, they last a long time. And I noticed that I'm, like, nutting in, like, five minutes. You know, sure. I was just, like, jerking of off all the time. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, and I Googled it. And I was like, am I a premature ejaculator? Mm-hmm. And I got very scared. So I started timing myself. Mm. I started timing myself. And I would only let myself come at, after the 15-minute mark. <laughs> 15 minutes? Okay. You're edging. You're treating yeah. your cock like your sting. I edge when I jerk off. Yep, I edge <laughs> when I jerk off exclusively so that uh, I I I build, I build uh, basically uh, some kind of you know I just I just train my penis to not come. Did that help at all? Did you blast? Fa- you must have blasted quick when you fucked. No, it helped. Yeah, Do you I think it helped? To, I used to. So I um so I just fucking pretty much uh, you know took out a stopwatch. <laughs> and time myself and uh and even to this day i still kind of do it like it's like second nature yeah i'm well, building resistance i do it i certainly do it but it's not it's not to build resistance it's because like i don't want i don't want the experience to be over you know i'm ba- i'm busting off i'm ba- i'm jacking off i'm about to jack off and i'm i'm about to bust and i'm like nah come on i can't i can't i can't jack off i can't bust while she's sucking dick i got to get the penetration at least you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. You got to yeah. train yourself. Just like yeah. any other area in your life, you got to train yourself. Uh, there's a there's a mental aspect to it as well. Um, one technique I use is like, um, mm-hmm. you, you can you can grip yourself in the gooch area when ah. you're close to coming. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows this or not. Interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm. These are not even. It's not a meme anymore. I'm not even joking. <laughs> this is very serious advice. I'm I giving. love this. You can pinch your gooch area. Interesting. Uh, when you're close to coming. And you can, it's like, it's like a mini orgasm you can have without actually coming. Wow. You, do that. you know, I do that to treat myself too. Sometimes that's, it feels like a deeper nut when you're, when you're out there choking, you're, you're, you're choking your little, you're choking your gooch. You're choking your gooch. Like, you know, oh yeah. Like a girl that's into BDSM. You're yeah, treating you your gooch your like the girl. And, like deny yourself a couple times, like the third or fourth time by the fourth time you're coming, like it's lies off which is dangerous Absolutely. can't be it, like dangerous. you gotta have a landing zone for it yes. i've come on my laptop before <laughs> oh laptop the first time i busted with the girl i came in my own face because because i was getting jacked for so long and my dick kind of curves back i don't know what kind of curve you're 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 working with hassan but i got a, a straight arrow straight arrow i got a curve back into Wait. the left i got i got a I jfk heard, is good though like a like a curve to the top is like actually good because you hit the g spot i got a curve to i think that's helped me because my dick is small but i've gotten you know people have been pretty pleased for the most part uh but i have gotten jacked and i also have a fucked up dick because honestly i hate to admit this because i'm uncircumcised my di- i'm actually one of the few people that probably should be circumcised because my shit doesn't go all the way back um, Wait, so, really? You got yeah. one of those like really tight? Uh, I got uh, a t- I got a little turtleneck. My my di- you my have dickhead. A really tight foreskin, so your head doesn't come out of doesn't it. Doesn't come out unless they really yank it or they're really tight. Uh, and no yes. No way. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, Wait, it can be a problem. Actually, that is What's dangerous. That? It's dangerous, dangerous. But I will say, I don't bust fast because some if unless they know how to work it just right, there's just a little bit of discomfort which stops me from busting too fast. Um, and then, and then when I'm really in the zone, I can bust, but, um, I, uh, so the first time I was getting jacked off, 
the, the girl was just like, I guess, you know, I'm like in college. She's not used to guys lasting long. You know what I mean? So she's like, she's tiring out and she's just like slowly jacking me off and the curve. And I guess she was like scared of the nut too. So she like dodges it and it just goes right. And I'm like laying flat on my back and it just goes oh, right no. in my, right in my own face. It was brutal. Right in my eye. Um, but damn, you know, I've never come on my, I've never come on my eye, but I've definitely come on myself before, like on sure. my fucking chest and shit. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. 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 Like, no, I got that. Action. I will naturally. That's the pro. That's the dangers of the curve. I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bust naturally. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get another one going. Ralphio. Hey, stop. Yeah. I love you, Cheryl, man. I just wanted to ask a question. So I'm about 22 years old now. And, uh, my roommate, he's actually, he's a virgin. He's never got pussy in his whole life. So <laughs> yeah. I was trying to uh, see if you had any advice for him. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, you know, I've fucked hundreds of times, and he's <laughs> yeah, out here yeah. on Tinder. Uh, he's not getting any swipes, and what, what can he do? How can he get out there and get some pussy? Thanks, man. Interesting. Bro, You're... He's tw there's 0% chance he's 22. I mean, we know he's the roommate, but he does not sound 22. Yeah, this is this guy. Is, this is the guy who hasn't fucked putting himself through a voice modulator. <laughs> this is the guy. He's like, I've, yeah. I've actually had sex hundreds of thousands of times. I'm bored by pussy, but... I'm worried about my friend who's scared of it. Um, yeah, 23, he's definitely a roommate. 23 years old, uh, hasn't gotten pussy, no swipes on Tinder. What's wrong? I mean, is he a bad looking guy? What's going on? Is it mental? Also, if you're Wait, the guy. He, in my chat, he might be in my chat. He said, this is my real voice. But I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get some random person to be like it's me. But uh, yeah. this is usually why I don't record, and I I have them uh, come on live. Yeah. But see, that's the problem. Way smart. No, it's yeah. probably way smarter the way you're doing it because mine can get fucked up. And you don't want come boys live. Exactly, dude. You know how oh, many slurs would have I would have been banned from Twitch the second my channel started if I had oh, these fucking animals animals on 100%. live. Um. Yeah. How to get put? I mean. It's tough, man. Like I've, we've, I feel like this is a trope of the show. We get a lot of people that don't get any fucking pussy, uh, asking about how to get it. And I think, I mean, if you're the guy who fucks, how, why, what are you doing to help your boy out? You got to be the fucking wingman. You got to set up some hangs. You got to get him in social environments. If you fucked hundreds of times, you can't. There's not a girl you're hooking up with that can bring her friend over, or you guys can all hang out. You got to get this guy, you got to get this guy, you know, he's probably nervous. It's been, he's, if it's 23, his nerves are his biggest obstacle, more so than whatever he looks like. There's no, there's no physical, ab, you know, problem that is as bad as somebody who's fucked up in his head about not getting pussy. So you got to ease him into it. You got to do your part. You got to get some girls around. You got to, even if he's not going to fuck women, he's got to be comfortable talking to them because probably he gets nervous just even talking to mm -hmm. girls at this point. Oh, and then, if you can't get that going, alternately, we have to look to Turkey and what they do and get him some fucking sex worker pussy, sex dude. Workers, baby. Exactly. Because he's, he's, yeah. he's probably all worried about it. He's probably all worried about just the physical act. Nervous about what pussy's going to feel like. Nervous about, you know, embarrassing himself. Let him get a fucking, you know, a run through. <clears throat> yeah, or, I, think, uh, I think, like, you know... Uh, Getting the nervousness out is probably a good way to go about it, and uh, if not, go out with the boys, uh, with the boys who actually do get uh, laid, the roommate right. that does get laid, and exactly. then uh, see if you can uh, do a, a twofer. Like oh yeah, Bob's hope for some runoff. <laughs> hope for some runoff yeah. pussy from your friends All that fuck. You just jerk them off. Just give them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Throw a wig on and suck him off. Um, yep. <clears throat> that's what a real friend would do. Um, exactly, dude. It's so funny you say that the that in Turkey people lose their virginity um, at, <laughs> through brothels. When we went to when we went to Greece, my cousin tried to sneak my eleven year old brother out at the time to go get oh. pussy. <laughs> and think my mom caught them walking out at like midnight, and she was like, "Where are you going?" And George, my little brother was like 
petrified. He was like, thank God. He didn't want to fuck. He was like, he just did it to like, he just was doing it to get our cousin to make our cousin to think he's cool. I think our cousin's like six years older than him. So he was just like, he like idolized him. Um, For the... That is that is definitely illegal, dude. I don't oh. know. Yeah, like it, it's illegal as hell, but not. I don't know. I don't know if I don't think they're checking IDs in Greece. <laughs> oh Jesus! He might have been thirteen. I don't know, but he was definitely too young to fuck. That's but... insane. Like, <laughs> I, I assume that the prostitutes in Greece would be like, no. I yeah, you think, you. but who knows? This is, this is too much. <laughs> well, they're all they're all like Ukrainian. I think in Greece. <laughs> oh, true. Um, That's how it is in Turkey too. Yeah. <laughs> Much. Um. So anyway, uh, thank God he was caught. Our hilarious drunk ass cousin, uh, who now is a forty year old, a th- a close to forty year old man who just spends his summers trying to fuck tourists, doesn't have a job. Salute to him. Um. All right. Why don't we do another? Why don't we do a a, a final question here for our boy Hassan? I know you got to go do some fucking politics, baby boy. Got to see what Trump's up to. So, Ralph, fit us with a nice, a nice uh, question for to send our boy off. Hey, Stav. I just bought a ring for my long-term girlfriend, and uh, I'm going to propose in the next month when we go camping. I want to make sure her family's all right with this, uh, but I really only want to ask her mom and uh, maybe her sisters. Uh, the mom really runs the house and the rest of the family. Uh, Because the dad's kind of a piece of shit, and, uh, you know, he's kind of on some lists and stuff. Uh, So it really only matters, I think, if the mom's all right with it. So do you still think I should, like, go through the motions of asking the dad for permission? Uh, Or do you think, you know, asking her family in general really isn't necessary anyway? Uh, Thanks a lot, man. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. You said her dad is on some lists? What kind of... (laughs) What the hell kind of list are we talking, pal? No fly list. Sex offender, <laughs> sex offender, no fly. <laughs> There's nothing. No, yeah, but one of those. This is one of those. If you want to have sex with my daughter, you got to fuck me first. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. situation. <laughs> that's, that's what's going on. Yeah, he's on a list of guys who have raped their daughter's boyfriends because yeah. he's at. They've he's made them have sex with him first. Yeah, um, he's just, he's just, you know. He's, I'll take this on a test drive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If my if my daughter is committing to this penis, I have to see how you perform. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, or I mean, I don't know what what was the question. I I missed he, it after the listing. He I wants even... to he wants to know if he should ask the family for permission before um before you know he's proposing to his girlfriend. Um. You know, I think on some level it is kind of like an antiquated thing. Having said that, I think it's a nice gesture, especially especially because you're not asking asking the dad would be like pure tradition for no reason. Especially when this guy's either a pedophile or a terrorist. That's those are the only two lists possible. <laughs> um, there's no there's no chill list. You know what I mean? There's no chill list a man could be on. So I would talk to the mom and the sister just to say, I think it would be a nice gesture. To let them know uh, what you're thinking. It's not exactly like you're even asking for permission. It's just like, hey, we're about to be a family. Like, I, I hope, you know, I love your daughter very much. I just want to know. I just want you to know where I'm at, how you feel about it. I think that's fine. Um, but, yeah, definitely don't ask the dad. Who fucking gives a fuck about the dad? Um, and then... I would ask her what she thinks also. <laughs> ask her? Ask your uh, fiancé, girlfriend, like... Well, I guess like we he can't. wants to, it was a surprise, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, like, right, 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 right. Yeah, you can't be like, hey, I mean, should I? I, I don't hey, know. I hey it's not a big deal, but should I ask your like when I want to propose to you? Should I ask your family? Like, I'm not even thinking about it. True, but that was, was a dumb. <laughs> that was a dumb uh, thing. I just like, I, I don't know. I, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even ask the family. I feel like that's so, that's yeah. so old school. It is old school. Um. I th- yeah, I don't think you need to ask them for permission, but I I, th- I don't think there's anything wrong with like feeling them out. I mean, you probably if you have a good relationship with them though already, and you know, you think she's gonna say yes. I don't really think you need to, but you know, it could be it could be a nice gesture to the mom, especially like I definitely don't ask the dad. Fuck the dad. Um, but especially if he's on a list. Yeah, Dude, yeah, what yeah. If- <laughs> 
Muslim dude, and he's on mm. a list by default because the innocent Muslim dude, and he's a traditional family guy, wow. and that's why he's asking him. That's You're true. You're out here calling him a terrorist. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a possibility. Um, you got oh, yeah, me there. Yeah, my advice is the same. Uh, you know, join your local mosque <laughs> and uh, the glory of Allah. Yeah. Uh, to everyone, Allah is the light. You know, you get <laughs> travel opportunities if it's one of those exotic ones, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And Thank you, Asad. Uh, yeah, you asked the dad. And then you asked the dad. And I think, and um, yeah, and I think it's important to say that overall, to summarize all of Asan's advice, it's uh, convert to Islam and lie to women. I think those are the yes. two biggest pieces of advice that you can give anyone, regardless of their situation. This is genuinely, my advice. This is real advice <laughs> from me. Well, buddy, thank you so much for doing the show. I really fucking appreciate it. It was so so fun. Um, yeah, thanks for having me, man. This was uh, I, I'm glad you're on the platform. I'm glad um, you're streaming. I, I hope you keep streaming. I'm streaming, baby. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying it. So thank you so much. This was great. And listen, bro, you ever need you ever need somebody to come through and give some chat advice? I'm here for you, brother. Oh hell yeah! I'm no, here absolutely. for you, brother. Um. So yeah, dude. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate it. Go do your go do your fucking shit, baby boy. Um, All right. Thanks a lot, so, man. Right, have yeah. a good one. I'll talk to you soon. See you, buddy. All right, folks. Huh? How was that? Hassan was fucking great, wasn't he? Um. Yeah. Motherfucker, motherfucker rocks. Um. So how about a nice one for Hassan? Listen, we're gonna keep it going another half hour because. Sasan had to came on, had to come on early, so we still got some calls, don't we, Ralph? Uh, yeah, we got a good amount. Why don't we do a couple more calls? You guys in the chat, you guys feeling like fucking doing a couple more calls? What do you say? Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do some fucking solo calls. Um, let's fucking do it, baby. Let's do it. More calls. Hit us with the hit us with the uh, solo call there, Ralph Aru. Hey, Stavi, it's Adam. So I'm having a bit of a pest problem in my garden. And the store near, near me sells ladybugs and they sell praying mantises. So I'm wondering which one I should get. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Dude, what the fuck? You having a pest problem and you... Ladybugs are cuter, dude. A praying mantis is cool. And I believe a praying mantis, when they fuck, don't they eat the guy? Damn. Praying mantis is like a fucking... Like a... Like a sexy model type that just eats you up and spits you out just takes your seed a ladybug's like a cute cute thick girl it's gonna cuddle with you all night i think both have their uh i think both have their pros and cons but i'm gonna go ladybug for being cuter get them both though uh i don't I'm, i don't know much about insects so let's keep it rolling ralph next one Hey, Stav. Hey, Ralph. Um, bit of a conundrum here. I'm going to try to be as quick and, and brief as I can with it. But um, So last summer, I was at a graduation party with uh, my boys and my sister happened to be there, too, his family friends. Um, I'm going to listen to me. I found, like, six months later, my boy and my sister went inside, and she fucking sucked them off. So um, definitely don't really like that. She can do whatever <laughs> she wants. It's her life, but I prefer if the, uh, the separation between boys and her and some cops. <laughs> But uh, my question is, how do I move forward with this knowledge? Like, he, I, I confronted him already. I'm very upset and very drunk, and I was very sloppily confronted him. And, uh, you know, do I continue to be boys with him because it kind of throws off the whole, like, friend group thing? Do I, you know, turn the fuck off? Do I say, Damn. fuck you, you're not my real friend? Damn. Um, he hasn't really, he, he said he was sorry, but he hadn't really, like, pursued uh, being apologetic to me has kind of always been me making the first effort and every time we see each other he's like a pussy about it so I don't know let me know thank you damn that guy fucked your sister at the graduation party he owned your ass he fucked your sister and there's nothing you can do about it and now you're mad but you have to realize they're both adults. <laughs> Damn, he got your ass. <laughs> I mean, look, what what are you really mad about, bro? I mean, come on. What? She's, you know, I. It's a little rude to do it at a fucking graduation party, but they're adult, you know. 
<laughs> it's weird of you. What are you mad about? You're, you're giving me some fucking parochial, like when a dad wants to fuck his daughter vibes right here. You shouldn't have been drunk when you confronted him. But at the end of the day, if, you're, if your sister wants to get that pussy knocked, knocked over in the guest bedroom while fucking your dad's taking ribs off the grill, what do you really, what's the big problem? Your aunt's having fucking sangria. Your sister's getting her fucking box worked over by your by your boy that you just played a couple games of FIFA with over. <laughs> What's the big deal, bro? Come on, be happy for him. Honestly, I don't I don't get it. Would you be mad if your brother got head in the fucking at a, if you wouldn't be mad that your brother got head at a graduation party, you can't be mad that your sister got fucked. Okay, you're on your toxic masculinity shit. If you that, if you now, if you would, fine. That's maybe you're traditionalist. I don't fucking know what it is, but come on, dude. It, I think it's kind of cool that your sister's fucking. Your sister sounds pretty tight. <laughs> tell her, you know what? Tell your sister I said what's up, actually, and that I'm gonna be having a little barbecue over at my place. <laughs> She's invited. <laughs> Yeah, your sister rocks. Salute to her. I hope your sister comes over and then she asks me this question. <clears throat> I hope your sister comes over and she asks me this question. Can I see your penis? <laughs> oh man, that fucking rocks. Hit us with the next one, Big Ralph. Uh, hey, Sav. Um, so I've got, like, a sex logistics question. So I've, I've fucked, like, maybe, like, three times in the course of my entire life. And just recently with this uh, chick I've been saying. And I've made some questionable decisions. But really my question is, and I assume that you've had this problem, too. Um, she's pretty fat. And she's way shorter than me. And my dick has a serious upward curve. That might not apply to you, but it does. it's just another obstacle. And it's almost impossible to fuck her from behind, and that's what she really wants me to do. And honestly, it's kind of difficult to fuck her any which way. And I also, full disclosure, don't have that big of a dick. There we so, go. And it all comes I don't know, full like, circle. Do you have any tips on, like, fucking fat girls? Uh, all right, all right. Lead with everybody else's fucking faults, huh? You got your little 4.2. Can't break the fucking, can't break her cheeks. But we got to start body shaming this woman who you're sharing a sexual bed with without letting everybody know you got a little fucking minuscule pr prickadel. Um, <laughs> well... I would say, as a man without the largest penis, you gotta do a lot of different stuff. You gotta be eating pussy, you gotta be playing with the clit. <clears throat> Having said that, I would say your best bet, well, you might wanna do this. You might wanna be standing up to give yourself more leverage. So maybe she's on all fours on the bed and you're standing up and that way you can kind of maneuver around. Are you also fat? Are you also fat, pal? Uh. Standing up, maybe put your leg up on the bed, some Captain Morgan type pussy. But I will say the, the some of the best use of a little upward curving cock, in my experience, is a missionary type of situation. Legs up. Really getting in there. Almost fucking down into the pussy. Um I think that's that's gonna be your best bet. But if she really wants to be fucked from behind. I say you're standing up, you got her on the bed on all fours type of situation. That's probably your best bet. <clears throat> With your little ass dick. <laughs> little ass. With your little ass dick. If you got a bigger penis, it would be easy to fuck her. Never forget that. Dick, 
Next question. Hi, Shelby baby. Love your work. Um, so my boyfriend goes days without showering, which I don't mind because I, I like his scent. Ugh. But the Freaky problem is Australians. that he gets a build up of, of smegma, uh, which prevents me from on. offering certain oral delights. What should I do? Thanks. Tell him to wash his stinky ass fucking dick. What the fuck are you talking? How is this a problem? He's got too much cheese on his dick. He asks me to give him head, and I say no, no, I won't give you head. <laughs> Tell that motherfucker to run a baby wipe across his fucking dickhead. We, what, what's the, what's the big fucking problem? You like his stats, you fucking freak. <laughs> he can clean his cock and not shower the rest of his body. That would be my fucking solution. Days, though. Come on. Motherfuckers smell like kangaroo meat. Like the musk. Uh, anyway, you know, good for you, I guess. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be sit here and tell you what to not like and not, and what to like and not like. But he's got to wash his cock, take a little, you know. What's what's I've what I've heard uncharitably be called a hooker shower, where you wipe your genitalia in the in the sink. That's what he's got to do. <clears throat> Next question, there, Ralph. Yo, Stavi. I hate leaving voicemail, so I'll make this one quick. I need your I need advice from someone uh, who has the same sexual prowess as me. Um, what do you do if you're too good at eating pussy and they don't? That's all they want, you know. Like, you know, my jaw gets sore, my tongue gets sore. You know, like what 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 am I supposed to do? You know, what what do you do? This man. I imagine you have the same problem as me. This uh, man isn't a true thanks eater. Thanks a lot, King. You're not a true pussy eater. Listen, if that's that's mm, if this is true, then you're dog dick at everything else, every other aspect of fucking. Because in my experience, when you give a girl the A plus pussy eating treatment, when you're in there, really, really getting fucking, getting your fucking mustache saturated. They'll want to fuck in all kinds of different ways. That's that's you start that off. You lead with your best foot, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want, pal. They go crazy for it. So either you're not as good at eating pussy as you think, or your your dick is so because it's like a fucking it's it's like a fucking bu I don't know. Let me use a fucking video game reference so you motherfuckers will understand. Some you know it's not quite the Mario Star because you can't be killed with the Mario Star. I don't fucking know. I, I, I'm I'm blanking here. But the point is, if you eat pussy like a champion, you you're. It's it, it's like equipping some fucking good good ass armor or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why my brain's not working. But the point is, um, you must just not fuck good. Cause I, after I eat, after I've really eaten the girl's pussy big time, she's begging to fuck. Okay, and then you get to just do whatever you want. She asks you what you want. They're, they're usually so grateful. So, or this could be a bad person. If this, happen, if this happens more than once, your dick is doo-doo. And your finger popping. And your other, you know, non all your non-pussy eating skills are trash. If it's happened more than once. If it's one girl that treats you like this, she's a selfish person. And you need to move on. And give that mouth to the streets. <clears throat> Next question there, Ralph. Stavros, this is Graham out west. So every year, uh, at least until this year, we've had a Greek food festival at the wonderful little Greek Orthodox cathedral here local. And I love just dropping like 60 to 80 motherfucking dollars 
just gorging myself on some of the best food I've ever had. I love respect Greek food, and I'm I've seen the, the people who make these. They're little women who I'm sure have you know gambling and drinking husbands like anybody else. I've heard you talk about the spring lamb recipe, and my problem is I don't have a Venetia Halkius cookbook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you fix this for me? Thank you very much. What do you want me to do? Make you fucking Greek food, you fucking prick? What the hell does this asshole even ask? I think he wants a recipe book from your mom <laughs> of your mom's recipes. Bro, go fucking Google. What the fuck is this? You can't have my mom's secret fucking recipes. Google is... I Google shit. I'll tell you, Judge. I mean, what I don't know, I just figure it out. You can't fuck my mom, though. Don't even think about it. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. Let's do, let's do another one. Let's do one more. And I might, I might call it a night early because we didn't take a fucking break and uh, I want to go grill something. So let's do one more there, Ralph. Hey, Scott, I've got a question about relationships. Uh, I was in a pretty serious relationship for about two years, and it ended during the winter. And ever since then, um, whenever I've tried to hook up with a girl, I just haven't really wanted to, partially because they're just not exactly what I want. And I was wondering, it seems like you were able to kind of suspend that um, just to get the nut. And I was wondering, how do you do that? Because um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can go without trying to hook up. But I also, if it's not perfect situations, I don't want to be tied into that either. Good luck answering this one. Um, I'm sure it's a very lame question compared to the other shit. So wait, his question was, how do you fuck a girl you're not really that into? Was that it, Ralph? Yeah, like how to get hard for a hookup. <laughs> how to get, oh, he couldn't even get hard. Did I miss that? Um, I don't, first of all, I don't like the fucking, I don't, I don't like the little side disses, little sneak disses on me that a couple have happened throughout this, throughout the Today Show. Seems like something. Seems like something you might not even have an issue with, or something you 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 know all about, or you don't even fucking pro worry. Um, I don't know, man. I like to get my little prick of dill sucked. I like to fuck. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Why do I like fucking, and how do I how do you enjoy to fuck without some without it being somebody you necessarily care about? I don't know, man. Do you see a pair of titties? You suck on them. You get fucking stiff. And, you're like, and then your body's like, you know what else I'd like to do? Fuck the fuck, fuck her. After I suck these titties, that's typically how it goes. It's not a very prolonged thought process. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, and yeah, do you get a dick pill going if you want? I mean, after a breakup, it's hard to fuck random girls because your heart is your dick is used to getting hard through love. But if it's been long enough from a breakup and you don't remember what love feels like, your dick pretty much just gets hard at the sight of titties and pussy. And if you need a little a little help, then you see my friends over at bluechew.com, promo code COMETOWN, for 20% off. <clears throat> okay. Well, folks, I think we're going to call this one a fucking night a little early. Um... Sorry to rob you, um, but I appreciate you for coming out. Very good stream. Hassan was great. Sorry we kind of, the the timeline got a little jumbled on this one because he, he's got to go fucking do some, go do the Trump thing or whatever. Um, but it was a very fun one. Hassan was great, and I appreciate everybody that came out and, and uh, watched.